to the little ones in our reports. 14-year-old Lydia Haruna was living in Maiduguri suburb before the insurgency forced her to relocate to Abuja in search of refuge and safety. She had no idea what a children's day celebration is. Until now, the children from her new community, the IDP's Camp Wasa, joined children from diverse backgrounds here at the NTA Arena. It's here that we eat food and that we burn food. In the IDP Camp Wasa, if we take food today, Tomorrow you cannot get food. That is why me too. I'm happy to come in this place. I'm praying. Let God say tomorrow we are coming here to again. Lydia, like the other IDP's children, not only had a good time, but also had gifts to take home. Their joy knew no bounds. I'm so excited today and the day has come. I've been waiting for this day. So we should always obey our parents. I learned that everybody should care for one another. That we should always learn our tribe. This year's NTS Children's Party is unique and attracted personalities as the authority focuses on propagating collective responsibility and creating a safe space for children to thrive in all their endeavors while imbibing good virtues, traditions and norms for sustainable national development. Producing decent and responsible children who really would be the leaders of tomorrow is the responsibility of the parents the teachers and the leaders of the community. Especially for the IDPs that are in very difficult uh, situations, the environment is not very uh, conducive. So the, the thing is very apt and we hope that um, uh, this space will be safe for all children to learn. We need to nurture them, we need to guide them, we need to look at the challenges. It is our own to the leaders' parents to make sure that we transfer these norms and values to our younger ones. Whatever the aim is, this year's Children's Day has come early for FCT children and the likes of Lydia will back into euphoria for long. <laughs> Children love parties, don't they? That was awesome. Now, one of the leading telecommunications companies in Nigeria, MTN, has donated a total of 720 school bags to pupils of Judges Nursery and Primary School Lagos. Elizabeth Omoriu, who captured the happy moment, reports that MTN says the gesture is aimed at putting smiles on the faces of the pupils. Such was the feeling of joy and excitement expressed by the pupils and teachers of the school as MTN distributed backpacks with goodies to them. This gesture, MTN says, is aimed at creating awareness on the protection and education of the Nigerian child as Children's Day is celebrated. And in the bed, I think there's also something to eat and I think there's a book in the bed. But we're very proud of you and you must enjoy your day and thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with us. MTN, through its various initiatives, has assisted in unleashing the talents and youngsters in Nigeria and still committed to touching lives. For the very first time in the life of MTN, we decided to have a symbolic gesture of actually going to a school to celebrate the Children's Day with, uh, you know, the children in our neighborhood. We are going to extend this gesture to other schools. My advice is, you know what, follow the right path, right? Be obedient in terms of um, what the teachers and your parents teach you. It's nothing bad for MTN everywhere you go to actually control their own quota in form of CSR to the community where they belong. So this is not a, this is good. MTN, through its various initiatives, has assisted in unleashing the talents and youngsters in Nigeria and still committed to touching lives.
We are going to be having a skill development program in Oyo State in conjunction with members of our ecosystem where we will teach people free of charge on ICT skills. So when we train people in youth entrepreneurship skills, then they can start something on their own and be empowered. In the next coming years, they would be the potential and they would be the future for us. So we would like to you know, work more closely and make a positive impact. So for the Pope Hills, what a way to celebrate their day. I feel very happy and I'm very excited for what, for the things MTN have done for us. They have been doing so many things. I never thought that they would come to our school and come and do more. I'm really happy and I pray that God will continue to increase them. There was also a quiz session where some of the pupils won prizes. MTN says it will continue to make life meaningful for Nigerians with life-changing initiatives and strategic partnerships. QMTN, still on the matter. Children like adults have their constitutional rights and privileges. However, society needs to be reminded at times like this of what these rights are and the legal implications of ignoring them. Annie Daniels has a comprehensive report on this. Many people believe that a child is abused only when he is physically assaulted. But do you know that when you yell frequently at a child, Threaten or ignore him as punishment is abuse. Showing abuses or curses on a child. God punish you. You are an idiot. You will never be good in life. You will never grow to see the, your, your grandchildren, your own children. All these ones, teachers call children Olodo, is, is psychological abuse. The law also says it is abuse and a punishable offense when parents or the caretakers of children have very little or no physical contact, such as hugging with them. You don't clothe the child. You give the child less than that child requires. Intentionally or not, you have abused that child. Available statistics show that the abuse starts before the child's fifth birthday and most often perpetrated by people closely related to the child. Uncles, aunties, people who the child ordinarily would think and take as the elders of family. When an adult undresses before a child, it's an abuse. And most times even parents do that. Now, everyone must know that apart from beating, yelling at or cursing a child, there are other ways a child can be abused. When you manipulate any of the organs, that especially that is the private organs, is abuse. Simply because you want to claim to be father of a, uh, of a doctor, you force your child to do what he does not have a, you know, mental capacity and capability to do in the school. That is an abuse. What baffles most people is that, in spite of widespread campaigns by non-governmental organizations and individuals, the trend seems unabated. A dear child is not supposed to sit on the lap of a man, no matter the man, be it uncle or relation. Children, when they are abused, they keep quiet. Some of the men or girls also that has perpetrated all this um, abuse and so, you know, some will harass them and threaten them that they will die if they should tell anybody. So, how can child abuse be curbed? Teach your child right morals. No, when you're, when you're sitting, close your legs. Don't let any uncle touch you here or there. Now you know what constitutes child abuse. So, whenever you wish to use the rod in order not to spoil the child, do so with love. <laughs> And you know what they say, it takes a village to raise a child. We must look out for children around us and ensure that they are not being abused. Let's move on to other issues now. During the week, Oshobo, the Oshun state capital, came alive as the information and culture minister stood in for President Muhammadu Buhari. What was the event? Anthony Fawson will tell us. <laughs> It was not a social gathering as it seemed, neither a political rally. The people of Ushogo had come out in their mass to express gratitude and their belief in the President Muhammad Buhari's administration as it walked the talk. 
The people here have remained under threat of erosion and flooding. Lives and property have been lost here on account of silting in this waterway. It is our conviction that this intervention project will provide succor to the communities whose lives and properties were hitherto in danger. The state governor, Rauf Agwesola, having put in his best to salvage the problem, approached the federal government and without mincing words, President Muhammad Buhari gave his approval for an emergency intervention which saw the channelization and the silting of the waterway. This project, though conceived by us, the project is a federal government project executed by the Ecological Fund Office of the Secretary of the Government of the Federation, which, which has been completed some months back and is now being delivered to the Minister of Information and Culture, my brother and friend. With this achieved, the people rolled out the drums in jubilation, a demonstration that they have confidence in the present government. <laughs> One fact was made manifest. What could that be? You may wonder. It is the present administration's crusade, the fight against corruption, which the information and culture minister reeled out. This is why this administration's fight against corruption is very critical. In that we we free the much needed resources for national development. Every cover that is not looted. This is a plus for development. But for the massive looting of the national treasury by past administration, most of the projects we are executing today, including those that have been abandoned for years, would have been completed. In unison with the reality of the present administration's anti graft stance, Governor Arabe Shola told the Oshun people what corruption has cost the state. Implication or consequences of that missing humongous sum of money, 8.1 trillion. Most of us here will not understand the direct implication or impact on our state. What that meant to Oshun after deducting 52% due to federal government from it, after deducting 13% as derivation to the oil producing states, what is left if divided among the states on the quality of state basis? Oshu will have 75 billion naira. With this, the dance expressed satisfaction and pledged their support for President Muhammad Buhari. <laughs> Anthony. When we return, you will get to see how two lovebirds exchange vows and recent humanitarian activities by some corporate organizations. Stay with us. The Nigerian Office for Trade Negotiations, Stakeholder Sensitization and Consultation on the agreement establishing the Africa Continental Free Trade Area across the six geopolitical zones will be holding in the South South on the 28th of May 2018. Venue International Conference Center, Calabar, time 9 a.m. Southwest on the 30th of May 2018, venue Civic Center Victoria Island, Lagos. For more information, visit our website www.notn.gov.ng. During an emergency, people tend to run away from the scene of danger. My job requires that I do the exact opposite to save people. There was once a sweet girl who was in a car accident. It was sad to see pain on a face which should always be smiling. The ordeal had taken a toll on me. But I had no time for pain. A couple of weeks later, I was about to head home when I had an unexpected visitor. It was her birthday, and she had insisted to her mother that she would bring a piece of cake for the man who helped save her life. The world needs people who save lives. Cadbury Hot Chocolate 3 in 1, a delicious combination of rich cocoa and wholesome goodness of milk. Just add hot water to get an instant chocolate treat. Cadbury Hot Chocolate 3 in 1. 
just add hot water. I no longer worry about deodorant stains with Nivea Invisible for black and white deodorant. No white marks on black and no yellow stains on white. My black stays black and white stays white longer. Invisible for black and white deodorant from Nivea. Also available, Nivea Men Invisible for black and white deodorant from Nivea Men. It starts with you. breakfast we're going to be late for school and stop talking with your mouth full <laughs> whole flakes is the natural process of making corn flakes nasco corn flakes are made with only fresh yellow sunripe corn that is flakes whole to retain all the natural goodness of the whole corn for whole nutrition whole taste and whole crunchiness for the whole family so you mean you don't know what whole flakes means <laughs> so next time you're eating corn flakes make sure it's whole flaked nasco corn flakes The partnership between Chevron Corporation and Discovery Learning Alliance towards making education an exciting experience has gained acceptance with the introduction of audiovisual learning techniques in schools. Kelvin Ubeche reports that the project already exists in two states of the Federation. According to research, people remember what they see more than what they hear, and children are always attracted to audiovisual techniques. This Chevron Corporation and Discovery Learning Alliance an NGO arm of Discovery Channel, leverage on to impart schools and pupils, rather than using the conventional method of teaching, which are the birth and chalk or marker. The organizations introduce the use of television sets in the classrooms to aid both teaching and learning. The project, which started in some primary schools in Warri, has grown and has been widely accepted by the schools, pupils, and benefiting communities that have been singing the testimonies of the projects. Those schools selected now benefited by getting two television sets, DVD players, um, changeover switches, um, gen generators for additional power supply in case of power failure. And then we also gave them our library of highly high quality educational videos in mathematics and sciences and social studies uh, there are over 77 of them in literacy and in numeracy for the teachers and communities they say the project has increased performance of pupils and also enrollment rates into public primary schools the praised the parts of the projects on the pupils uh, it has been of great help in terms of uh, bringing life event to the classroom the purpose appreciated the projects in this manner. The initiators, Chevron Corporation and Discovery Learning Alliance, said their aim is born out of the drive to enhance the quality of education in Nigeria. Over the years, our programs have focused on building human and institutional capacity, in addition to the infrastructural development, which was sponsored directly and through the global memorandum of understanding with communities around our operational areas. We need to put proper tools in the hands of the teacher there 
Send the teacher has no help. The teacher needs to have all the tools he or she can use to really do the work well. They symbolically handed over the projects to the 10 schools and sued for its sustenance. The project has been existing in Lagos and Port Harcourt, and the effects have been phenomenal. Moving on, in its quest for greater heights and breaking new grounds, one of Nigeria's strongest financial institutions, Fidelity Bank PLC, has increased its gross earnings by 18.3%, just as the profit before tax moved to 83.5% in the 2017 financial year. The management of the bank hereafter proposed a dividend of 11 Kabopa ordinary share to shareholders. Abolade Salami completes the report. City Bank is one of the country's strongest financial institutions with over 3.9 million customers and an interest income of over 150 billion naira with a risk assets of over 768.7 billion naira. The bank has in the last three decades maintained an innovative and robust financial system that at the 30th annual general meeting, it rolled out the track record achieved in the 2017 financial year, which included an impressive performance in profit before tax that grew to 20.3 billion naira from 11.1 billion naira, while the gross earning increased by 18.3%, just as the savings deposit recorded a 15.2% growth to close at 178.6 billion naira. Our strategy was anchored on risk management, uh, corporate governance, and uh, capital liquidity. And all throughout the year, we are quite focused on execution of our strategy. Indeed, we recorded drop in operating expenses in 50% of our operating expense lines. Um, that's how come we're able to achieve a PBT of 20.6 billion, uh, which is almost, uh, PAT was like almost 100% of last year's. The bank in its retail and digital banking evolution grew over the years. Thus, the management say will be more enhanced to deepen the control over small and medium scale enterprises. For us, it's been a profit making venture because we have a totally different approach. Our approach being that of hand holding. So we enhance the capacity of those SMEs as opposed to just throwing money at them. With the net interest margin staying positive on 7.3% appreciation, shareholders expressed their trust and confidence in the bank. And they have paid us a dividend of 11 kobo. I commend them for that. And if you look at their gross earnings, also have increased. The bank recorded double-digit growth across revenue lines with a corresponding decline in operating expenses. This is by every fit a very, very good performance. The management of Fidelity Bank is however optimistic of maintaining a strong pedestal for sustained revenue growth in the 2018 financial year. Providing a world-class library to an institution that has spent the last 59 years in shaping the lives of many Nigerians is what Texaco Nigeria Outer Shelf, a Chevron company, and the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation accomplished recently. The hybrid library donated by the group to Rimi College Kaduna, Abdullahi Mohammed says, is fully equipped. Take a look. Yes, it's a special day for these students of Rimi College, aspiring to live their dreams by acquiring quality education in a learning environment which has nurtured and shaped the minds of great leaders, scientists and top-notch artists as well as academicians since the year 1949. The chances of succeeding in their chosen career has been fast-forwarded as a world-class hybrid library opens its doors in their school premises, courtesy Texaco Nigeria Outer Shelf, a Chevron company, and the Nigeria National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC. The hybrid library combines the conventional and e-library facility in one-stop environment. This means that Okonko and Abdul Samad, who are students of Rimi College, will have the opportunity to conduct research by the click of a button, just like their peers in places considered to be advanced in learning techniques. Now we com com compute our results inside the um, computers, in the software. I would like to appreciate the government for giving us these facilities. 
for the donors of the facility, which has been replicated in more than 10 schools across Nigeria. This is just the tip of the iceberg and the series of strategic interventions undertaken to better the lives of people, especially in its operating environment. We at Tezako Nigeria Alpha Shell and all the OML 132 partners are glad that our intervention will continue to benefit the country in diversity. The effort is geared towards helping the government achieve one of the sustainable development goals, which respect qualitative education for the people of our country. The Kaduna State Commission of Education, Science and Technology, who was represented, described the hybrid library as a seed of success sown on fertile land. Really college students, if you fail your examinations, it is because you have refused to learn. Teachers in Rini College, if you fail to deliver your lessons properly, it is because you have refused to do so. This next one is somehow. There is an arrangement known as money marriage. It's not about people marrying for money. It's actually a situation where young girls as young as three or four years old are sold to elderly men to settle one form of indebtedness or the other incurred by their families. It gets bizarre as some of these transactions occur even before the birth of the girl child. Umo Bati Edit will tell us more. It was an eight-hour drive from Calabar, the capital city of Crosby State, to the bottom hill and another 30 minutes up the mountain. Behind these clouds and up the hills are tribes and villages which make up the Becheve clan in Obanliku local government area of Crosby State. These communities, like others, have the various cultures and tradition. But one of it has become a thing of concern, as girls, sometimes as young as three or four years, are sold to elderly men to settle one form of debt or the other by their families. The debt sometimes could be as low as 3,000 naira. These girls become enslaved for life as they end up fending for their older husbands and children. With the marriage, they lose all their rights, including their rights to life, as the husband has the right to use her or her children for rituals or any other purpose. Once sold, the girl referred to as the money woman does not also have a say in her family anymore, and any attempt to run back is greeted with stiff resistance as she is chased back to her husband. If she dies in the course of the marriage, her family is under an obligation to replace her. And if her husband dies, his next of kin or any other family member inherits her. When you be small, I said, even you reach now two years or five years, they will carry you. If you say you be money woman, even you try, say you know go, you will not must, you will go. If you no go, they will kill you or they will kill your mother. The men who are the beneficiaries see the money women as their insurance policy. Now a neutral. So if you have money woman, me say don't be a person. So if you not have any money woman, uh, during that time, woman will be the married, as married. If you come born children, so they will come grow. The children will go around all with the uh, woman. They go meet their family. Even though they acknowledge the ills behind this barbaric culture, their body language speaks differently, as they say the girls can only be freed if a refund is made. They go take a person money. Now, who will get now money for back then? Now it be a problem in the hard house. For the good money, forgive them. Unfortunately, making a refund is not easy as the initial money paid accrues depending on the various gifts enjoyed subsequently by the girl's family. That is the case of Mercy, whose parents told her to get 10,000 naira to settle her mother's hospital bill. Today, an attempt to refund the said amount proved abortive as the husband claims the money has accrued to over 50,000 naira. From investigations, money marriage is a status thing for the men, and you must have one or two money women to belong to the upper class. Beyond just refunding the money to free the money woman, there is also another twist to it. 
the spiritual aspect. We intend to bring this to you soon. Update you. We have to go on another break now. Join us after these messages for more reports. Hate speech is not a joke. It incites genocide and crimes against humanity. Most of Africa's civil wars are caused by hate speech from one tribe against another. We don't want it here. The Nigerian government stands firm against hate speech. Under no conditions whatsoever should we tolerate or excuse or justify hate speech or hateful conduct of any kind, especially where such is illegal. There's no doubt that the resurgent push for separatism as well as the rising cases of ethnic and religious disharmony are all traceable to the growing phenomenon of hate speech. One nation bound in freedom Peace and unity Nigeria, one nation, one people. This is a public service announcement brought to you by NTA. Invisible for black and white deodorant. No white marks on black and no yellow stains on white. My black stays black and white stays white longer. Invisible for black and white deodorant from Nivea. Also available, Nivea Men Invisible for black and white deodorant from Nivea Men. It starts with you. As usual. Mm. You have no problem. You're welcome, sir. <laughs> As usual, yeah? Welcome. Yeah. 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 You take that one. Yeah. Yeah. That one. Yeah. 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 You don't understand? We want Nigeria homegrown rice. Finish. You don't have. You don't have. Join the rice revolution today. No other rice that tastes like Nigeria rice. Are you sorry? That's the Nigerian rice we are talking about. Chocolate made in Nigerian rice. Healthy food. I'm going to bring Mrs. Bobo to come to chocolate rice of made in Nigeria here. Yeah. 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 And yeah. see how it are made. Correct, correct. And how they are cooking. Correct. <laughs> Homegrown rice are good for your health. It are boost our economy and I give employment to our people. This message is brought to you by the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture. Experience, they say, is the best teacher. They hold us from the sea. Thank God that we came back home. They should not go, that is because it's not, no, it's not good. It's, it's a very bad place. So they, they just may have us. Even now, sir, they are shooting the boat they are going to use to go Italy. May they stop it. Our country is good. Our country is a blessed country. Now, now I know say I know our country is a blessed country. I didn't mean I know before I could not travel from Nigeria to Libya. I know how much I spent. Let these personal experiences serve as a lesson to all who would repeat their mistakes. A word is enough for the wise. This is a public service announcement 
Brought to you by NTA. When you hear that sound, you know that Nigeria's most authentic newscast is about to begin. NTA Network News, breaking the news for over 40 years. Welcome back. Um, just a quick one. Democracy Day, earlier scheduled to hold at the State House Banquet Hall, will now hold at the International Conference Center. Time is 10 a.m. tomorrow, Monday, 28th. Now, environmental pollution is a major contributing factor to climate change, which is posing a great threat to our very existence. To bring more clarity on the consequences of environmental degradation, a French Nigerian made a movie on climate change, and this has earned him an international award. Kendi Olaleye was at the award presentation in Abuja. This very wonderful award. That was Wilfred Upong receiving an award for his movie titled Future World. Wilfred, who understands the devastating effect of environmental pollution, especially in the oil rich Niger Delta region of Nigeria, through his futuristic movie, is saying that urgent steps must be taken by all to save the ecosystem. We use it as sort of a catalyst uh, to create conversations uh, for positive actions. So it, it's beyond entertainment, it isn't beyond fame for fame sake or art for art sake. The movie Future World, which earned Wilfred an excellent award at the Golden City Gate Film Festival in Berlin, Germany, the Nigerian government says it is worth celebrating. And for this, friends, colleagues and the international community were out to honor a man whose creative work depicts the social and environmental issues affecting the world over. Germany is very strongly supporting um, um, the fight against climate change, supporting the Paris Agreement. So does Nigeria. The government has signed the Paris Agreement. So this shows that we really together want to do something against climate change. Now has cemented himself in the movie business in Nigeria. He's won, as I said, a global international award and this time we're just going to recognize him and we'll have a look and you'll see why he's doing so well. We need to mine the environment in a sustainable way so that the children yet unborn can still find, come to see a world that is worth living. And here we are today trying to deal with the effects of oil and gas production on our environment and communities. To this, Wilfred Upong's future world is succinct and inspirational. The scattered metals, fiberglass and polystyrene gathered were made into film probes. These probes were also made into artworks that was exhibited at the event. The evening was an avenue for guests to unwind as a live band was there to thrill the audience to good classic music. It way to pass on a profound message. Kudos to the award winner. Next up, an old sage says, teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart to wisdom. Bola Onibogi flowed with this saying when she opted for a Thanksgiving service upon turning 60. Kende Olalaye was at the Matriarch's Diamond Jubilee celebration in Abuja. Family, friends, Associates and colleagues from far and wide converged on the Cathedral Church of Advent Abuja to celebrate an icon who recently turned 60. Mrs. Bola Unibugi, whose philanthropic nature many say cuts across all ages, was full of appreciation to God. To do more by surrendering everything to God. Like I said, she should make her life a living sacrifice. The church service over, the party train moved to the residence of the celebrant, where the guests were gorgeously dressed with a touch of the color pink. 
the sound of Rijuju music got the guests swaying right and left on their seat as they were treated to a sumptuous meal. The celebrants, Mrs. Bola Onigogi, a husband, and one of her children were full of gratitude for the attainment of a diamond jubilee. I'm happy, I feel excited, and I thank Almighty God for preserving me to today that I'm 60. I give glory to Almighty God. She's been very great. She's my best friend. She's my best friend in business, socially, and uh, she's everything to me. I'm very excited for her. She's getting to this landmark age. And I wish her more years ahead. I pray we have at least six, seven landmarks birthday like this. Guests at the ceremony, amongst who were the wife of the former vice president, Mrs. Titi Atiku Abubakar, former governor of Kogi State, director general of NTA represented, and many others had this to say about the celebrant. I wish her a very, very happy birthday because she's a very nice girl. She's a virtuous woman, and uh, she will live to see her children's children. Best wishes for a long, healthy, and prosperous life. I want to wish her a beautiful birthday, and I pray that the Lord will extend her years and she will celebrate 70 years, 80 years and above. The eye point was the cutting of the birthday cake and presentation of gifts to the celebrant, which was supervised by Mrs. Titi Atiku Abibakar. <laughs> Many happy returns to the celebrant. God bless your new age. We will take our last break now. When we return, there will be more. Stay tuned. Hey, hey let's talk. There are many things that make your guy your guy. The things you've experienced together over time. Like the time when you needed them to give you ginger. Or the times they killed your vibe because they had an emergency. And even when they spoil your show for no reason at all. Truth is, those crazy moments do not spoil friendship. If anything, that's what makes it unique. Memorable and unshakable. My name is Mr. Bowles. Make time for friends, my friend. McDowell's number one whiskey, spirit of true friendship. Nigerians. Suicide bombers are not spirits. They are not ghosts. They are human beings like you and me. They live amongst us. They are your neighbors. They are your friends today, but terrorists tomorrow. So you must know your neighbor now. Security begins with you and me. Know your neighbor. Be vigilant. Be security conscious. Report suspicious persons, objects and movements to the police and other security agencies. The security of our nation is a duty for you and me. If you see something, say something. Nigeria, unite against terrorism. This message is brought to you by the Federal Ministry of Information and Culture. Hey, hey, let's talk. There are many things that make your guy your guy. The things you've experienced together over time. Like the time when you needed them to give you ginger. Or the times they killed your vibe because they had an emergency. And even when they spoil your show for no reason at all. Truth is, those crazy moments do not spoil friendship. If anything, that's what makes it unique. Memorable and unshakable. My name is Mr. Bowles. Make time for friends, my friend. McDowell's number one whiskey. Spirit of true friendship. Democracy Day, earlier scheduled to hold at the State House Banquet Hall, will now hold at the International Conference Center. Time is 10 a.m. tomorrow, Monday, 28th. 
Seven months after his installation as the Amaya Nabo of the newly created Kala Ogoloma Kingdom in River State, King Godi Idamina Olua is celebrating his first royal banquet with kings and chiefs of the larger Okrika Council of Traditional Rulers. Usinachi Silvanus Abraham was at the historic event, which is said to be a symbol of unity in the Warike ethnic nationality and the Niger Delta region. It was the king's first royal banquet after his ascension to the throne as the first king of Kola Ogoloma Kingdom. Kala Ogoloma Kingdom is the South clan of Ogoloma speaking people of Okrika in Portaco City local government area of River State. The Okrika Kingdom, we are all one people. This banquet shows that we have we have been eating together before, so we shall continue to be eating to, 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 together. The creation of the kingdom on the 13th of October 2017 and the subsequent coronation of His Royal Majesty King Gode Idaminabo Idikesimie Oluwa on the 14th marked a threshold with the people of Kala Ogoloma and the Okrika ethnic nationality. This is the way we recognize kings, our kings in the Okrika nation. We are here to, to bring him into our fold, to the fold of kings of Wakreke nation. I'm here to felicitate with a friend and a brother king and to say that River State is one and that we should give the government of the day the support for peace in River State. The celebrant was overwhelmed with the ambience that greeted the event with a call on the traditional institution to effect positive change in their domains. The queens and their women were a beauty to behold as traditional dance groups entertained the audience. Splendid celebration of royalty there. And that's Newsline tonight. Thanks for watching. Coming up next is Ali Baba Seriously. He's not around tonight, but he has sent uh, someone who is equal to the task. I'm talking about T.A. Hello, T.A. Welcome to our you? studios. What's um, good? Nice oh. to be here on Ali Baba Seriously. Seriously, you're not looking bad. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> From me, good night and God bless Nigeria. Um,